All right, we're going to try this again. No guarantees. Um, I'm just going to wait a few seconds to see if it goes. But we definitely got a loss for that last one because, yeah, I mean, my internet disconnected. So, like, that was, like, a legit loss. <laughs> It's like I can't do anything about it, you know. All right. So that was kind of an interesting matchup because we didn't have like really a good answer into their team, right? Okay. So torn um torn flat Landorus Arch Um hmm. So I don't have a super solid plan for this. Also, the disconnected internet definitely threw me off, so... This gives me the feeling that they have a weakness policy, but there's no guarantees. Let's just click Sunny Day. Yeah, sunny day. Thousand gleam. So let's see. Did you go for a reveal? to be expected. We take this chance, I would say, to just go for the uh, Weak Wind and Dazzling Gleam. Because I think it's more important to get damage this turn. Um, okay. Ooh, that's pretty bad. Huh. They go for the blind blizzard like a madman. They miss something with heat wave. Bring out Landorus.
And then we go for... Yeah, this sunny day again. Which way? That's a good play. They are playing incredibly well. Because technically I should have locked into Rock Slide there. We need to think. I need them to not bring Chi back out. Which I actually think they shouldn't. That's, yep. So, yeah, I think if we had locked into Rock Slide right away, uh, we would have pretty much a chance of just instant winning this, but because we didn't, um, it, it makes this quite a bit difficult. More difficult, that is. Um, a lot of arch in the dark. We definitely want to see what's going to happen here. All right, so we could have just stayed in, my guy. That sucks. They crit the arch. It should be icicle spearing, yep. This is gonna get very interesting because I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna win this, but I think I have a good chance. So let's see. Alright, watch this. No, this place sucks. Okay. Alright, I think this wins us the game. In other words, you would too if you were bonding me, my guy. They get a double protect. Yep. 
that could actually win them the game. Let's be honest. No, okay, so that wins us the game. Because there's no way they're getting a freaking quad-triple over here, my guy, like... <laughs> Alright, so we just rock slide again, and we just body press with your freaking quad-triple over here. <laughs> All right, so I mean, yeah, yeah. Peter's out. And let's be honest, this is not over. Dumb. <laughs> Very interesting turn of events there, right? Because I technically could have just stayed in an earthquake, but wouldn't have been that good of a play. So I think we, we still made like the plays that felt like they needed to be made. What really screwed them over was having Dark Terra, right? So... I didn't really get that. I'll the stumble door. Ooh, okay. Figure this out. I do technically have better plays though. Um, yeah, kind of. We do that. We click. Let's see why not.
This could work against me. Damn, they actually called that. And they got the crit. Okay, we probably just lose. Get that. This is how you bring it back. <laughs> this is how you bring it back. <laughs> you just start clicking outrage. Okay, so either way, this is kind of good for us, but technically there is a best turn of events here, which is actually kind of me killing the Electro Fury this turn. Okay, so we do get that. out arch I don't have much plays here I mean, this play actually, like, doesn't work at all. That could win us the game. Hold on. Hold on. Outrage. Outrage the right slot. Outrage the right slot. So this is going to get hard. This is going to get pretty difficult. Because we click Schnorl and we click Ice Spinner. Schnorl. All right. You got me, bro? You got me? Nah! 
That hurts. That does hurt. You gotta be honest. When in doubt, outrage it out. He went for it, bro. He went for it. He was like, you know what? I can do this. I can click sword dance. You're not gonna hit me with outrage. And I was like, but will I? Oh, man. <laughs> All right, Josie, AKA Jose. Hmm. Um, looks like homie scoop. Homie said, I don't want it, my guy. Interesting. I did have a really good play there, though, let's be honest. Which was basically just to start Torn Lando and click Terra. Jim Jam. Alright, Jim Jam Blam. This looks a little scary. Let's lead... Torn Lando, um, Big Robbie Schneid's in the back, actually, hmm, let's lead these two with these two in the back. Big Robbie Schneids, my guy. Just little Big Robbie Schneids. GLHF Jam. A lot of squirsh in the dirsh. I get that. More of a you would too if you were bonding new, my guy. Alright, let's see. We should do a decent bit. Yeah. That's scary. But nonetheless. We pick up our course of action where we left off. Okay. 
So let's see. This is gonna get a little scary here because if he does have Torn in the back, um, we don't exactly have a way to get around this. So we're gonna have to see Ogre. Okay, that's fine. I can deal with that. So. Weak Wind. Earthquake, yeah. We should see Ogre Pond Terra, I think. Yeah. So no surprise there. It is good that um, the Goldengo is forced to either protect or just double speed. Uh, yeah, so this is going our way. This is going our way. This is like really the difference that a good move set makes, you know. I think this is my best play. Yeah, so we taunt them, and that should always win us the game. Go for EQ. <laughs> Might not KO. Yeah, I was a little bit afraid of that, but it's okay. They do kind of technically make the right play, so good for them. Um, but what do you do when they come for you, my guy? Because now we bring out Lander Dringus, and we say, Jeebus Jeebus. <laughs> uh, this team is freaking wrecking it. Lots of fun here. So we click Tailwind, we click Earthquake, and we give them the 10 4 Jeebus. Yep. GG's. Fun set. Um, Really well played on my part. Uh, I think we were able to demonstrate exactly what this team can do and we didn't even need to lean into the uh, Chrysalia side of the team which basically just clicks Lunar Blessing Snarl Body Press over and over so uh, you know it's fun <laughs> but you can really see like why I made some of the adaptions that I did right because without Ice Spinner you're in a way worse position into Landris, like, even though you have Ice Beam on Cresselia. Uh, so, all in all, you know, well done. So let's see. Boys, boys, boys. Hmm. I do plan on making new versions of some of these teams. 
So... I don't really need to... Uh, I mean, if, if I'm taking anything off, it's this, right? So... Let's just do this for now. Alright, so this is the team that I have been working on. It's a really interesting team. Um, it has a lot of really interesting synergies that like it seems like you wouldn't need sometimes but are actually very useful. Um, things like the Flying Terra Fluttermane, for example, uh, is kind of like you know, why actually have Flying Terra Fluttermane if you can just start Torn Landorus, right? Like, does it actually matter? Um, and and the answer is, I mean, like, there is going to be some endgames technically where, like, if you come down to Landorus plus Archaladon, Landorus plus Fluttermane, like, having that Terra available is gonna be make or break for you right and so like it does make a difference i just think that like ultimately when you think about how this game plays um a fairy terra flutter main is just best right so like i don't really agree with the decision to use flying terra flutter main except for the one singular instance where you can start Icy Wind Earthquake. And besides that, it's not useful at all. Um, so it's that's really what it comes down to. I mean, like, I think what, what it does not having Fairy Terra is it forces you to think more about, okay, well, what am I using my Terra on in this game, right? Like, am I trying to save Landris from taking hits? Am I trying to save Tornadus from going down to something? Like, what's my what's my game plan here? Like, what do I actually need Terra for? And so, yeah, I mean, it's going to come down to, like, our child on using Grass Terra to, to get out of certain hits. It's going to come down to Fluttermane using Flying Terra to avoid Earthquake, like Landorus using the, the water. Like... Everything has a defensive Terra, for the most part, except for Dragonite, right? Um, and Dragonite just has, like, a I can do extreme speed things if I want, right? Um, so, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm starting to ramble, right? But, like, I actually really enjoy this team. Um, I'm happy with how it kind of just, like, came together, right? I, and, uh... I think if anything, I don't find myself clicking Sunny Day that often, but that being said, hmm, yeah, yeah, I mean, I, that's probably the one thing I would say about this team, right, is that like, you could technically just take Sunny Day off for, like, Icy Wind or Protect, right? And I don't really see why you couldn't do that. Um, so those are definitely the type of things that I think about when I look at this team. But, like, all things considered, I like the way it's turned out. I think it works. And, um... Yeah, like, I'm just trying to think... Okay, so, originally I had Venusaur over Dragonite, which is why Sunny Day was more useful. But, I actually think we can probably... Hmm, well... I mean, the Sunny Day has been useful, right? Because it allowed us to stop Aurora Veil. It, it allows us to stop Rain. Um, so I'm not going to say it's not useful, right? 
It's just that sometimes it'd be nice to have Icy Wind Tornadus, so I'll keep it. Um, I like the team, right? And, uh, you know, it is what it is. So let me, let me stop rambling for a second and start, like, actually talking about the team so that I can do a little bit of an intro, my guy. And then, uh, and then I'm probably just going to do a little bit of a more casual stream for the rest of the day because, you know, when I'm feeling good, I'm feeling good, right? I get three wins in a row. I'm all, I'm all feeling good. Like, <laughs> uh, I got my video for tomorrow, right? And, uh, I am going to keep testing this team just to see if this is what I want to ultimately lock in, but. Talking about this team, um, this is the team that I'm thinking about bringing to the Global Challenge. There's a few kind of interesting things going on with it, right? Like, it is mainly kind of like an Earthquake spam team, if we're being honest. So, like, if you look at how this team really functions, uh, we, you know, we have Tornadus to boost up Choice Band Landris. And then we also have Cresselia if we need to set Trick Room or click Lunar Blessing. We have Dragonite, which is a really good Pokemon because it is flying so it doesn't get hit by Earthquake, but also has Inner Focus. So you have multiple different leads that you can start where nothing can get faked out, right? Whether you're starting Torn Dragonite Torn Fluttermane, Fluttermane Dragonite, right? Like none of those leads can get faked out and that's really important. If you do start a lead that can get faked out, your best play is to predict that and then switch in our Chalodon and get an automatic plus one, right? So it might look a little bit awkward to have our Chalodon on an Earthquake team, but like obviously you don't always lock into Earthquake, you know what I'm saying? And if you do lock into Earthquake, you can technically click Grass Terra Archaladon, which every time it gets that defense boost, it's taking less and less damage from the not very effective Earthquake because you're a Grass Terra, right? So like, we have a lot of synergy on this team that I think speaks for itself that when you really deep dive into the team becomes more evident, right? Like. We don't have a very strong slow mode, but we do have Trick Room to enable Dragonite and Archaladon if they need to move faster than really fast teams. Um, same with Landorus, even though it's technically a, a jolly nature. Um, and so, like, if you're not going for the Landorus side of the team, you can sometimes see really great success by you know, getting our child on set up, clicking Lunar Blessing, and like making it really hard for the opponent to do anything. Uh, besides that, I don't really know what else I want to say about the team. Um, I really actually like this Life Orb Inner Focus Dragonite. It allows you to hit really hard while still being able to pivot your damage. Uh, you can, you know, lock into Outrage, get out of the Outrage, click Ice Spinner, like we'll see in one of the matches, right? And um, it, it, it really adds to the amount of versatility that Dragonite has, right? Uh, the last thing that I want to say about the team is that we do have a Flying Terra Fluttermane. So the, the Flying Terra Fluttermane is literally only useful in the instance where you're clicking Icy Wind Earthquake and no other instance. Uh, but because that is one of the really strong things that this team can do. It is kind of nice to have the Flying Terra. It's just that Fluttermane technically really, really likes Fairy Terra. So like, it is an optimization to the team to technically just drop the Flying Terra, keep the Fairy Terra, and then just say, okay, like, let's actually think about like, you know, when am I not just going to lock into Earthquake, right? And um, in my opinion, I do think that because Icy Wind Earthquake can be such a strong lead, like compared to uh, compared to Tornado Slanderous, which is still a strong lead, right? But like the the Icy Wind, the Icy Wind 
utility allows you to do things like click Icy Wind Rock Slide and take out a Chen Pao, to click Icy Wind Earthquake and take out a Landorus that's trying to Poison Terra to get out of the Icy Wind damage. But like, they don't really have to, honestly, so, you know, like, because we don't have specs Icy Wind, like, they, I don't think they should feel pressured, right, but, um, either way, it, it, it works, right, I, I do really enjoy this team, and I hope you guys enjoy the round of matches, so, yeah, um, thank you, and let's, let's, let's do that, so, <laughs> what up, Zach, we just finished a very slapping round of matches there, uh, I am not going to be playing any more matches for the night, but I am going to be uh, doing some raids, so feel free to stick around while I, you know, try to beat Venusaur, I guess, like. <laughs> Venusaur. <laughs> uh, we have fun. He drops in. Yep. All right. So I do need to think about what my best thing is to face this with. I know a lot of people have been using like Mewtwo. Where's my Mewtwo? There it is. That's a really awkward Mewtwo set. So let's see. Let's try this first. I don't know which one I'm going to need. <laughs> That should do. Then, oh, yeah, it's right here. Oh, I'm going to give it a shell bell. That should do it. Grass not works. 
If not, we can just switch to energy ball, but I think this works. But let's hope we get some Herba Mystica, <laughs> which I'm pretty sure is guaranteed. So. All right. My guy. Bro. They said you could solo this thing. They said you could solo it. I don't know what these mans are talking about. Um. Alright. Um, well, I'm going to try one more time, and I'll invite some peeps. Something wrong with the Pokemon in my Bernie Mingy. I don't know what to do. I think we're pretty much just checkmate. Even though I've been seeing people say this is easy. They said easy solo. And all I saw was me getting freaking wrecked in one turn. <laughs> I got literally sclounced on my guy. Brother. How are you supposed to actually beat this? Like, just goodbye, like. All right, we got one more try. And then I'm calling it for the night because I don't actually care that much. 
we already did what I wanted to do, which was play around the matches. And, um, yeah, forget this. So, you know, this is pretty lame. Uh, I don't understand how people are saying this is easy, so. It's like, literally just got wrecked in like two turns and couldn't do anything about it. Like, what would you do? That's what I don't understand. Like, what, what, what would you do to actually get around that? Like, like, yes, people are saying use chestnut, but like, how does chestnut really get around that? You have to have swords dance, horn leech, and then even then, you gotta be really careful. There is no way people are just easy soloing that. Like, I refuse the premise. There's, like, like, literally explain it to me. Like, Let's see. Bulk up. Bulk up. C bomb, sword stance. Yeah, I mean, I'll try this like once. Suing Gujo with Sap Sipper and Air Balloon. Jeez. If that's what we gotta go to, my guy. Like, if that's what we gotta resort to, I will. Like, it's pretty ridiculous, but. You know. Yeah, I can see how that works. It's going to be a freaking duke it out fest, though. We're going to be playing forever, my gay. Alright, let's see. So I did just use, I did just use all of my, you know, things that I had for this, which makes that harder. Um, air balloon, air balloon. Right, yeah, that makes sense. All right, so let's do Iron Head. All 
Iron Head. Acid Spray. Ice Beam. That should work, right? Iron Head, Dragon Pulse, Ice Beam, Acid Spray. Oh, yeah. I... Gyro Ball, Protect, Iron Head, and Curse. That's also a possibility. Yeah, I can see how that would work. Um. Yeah, because I would probably want to be able to... I mean, you don't have to boost your own attack. But it could be nice. See so run curse. And then... Curse definitely works well with Gyro Ball for sure. Uh, yeah, whatever. Because we're still helping our teammates by clicking Acid Spray. All right, well, yeah, I guess that'll work. Yeah, thank you, by the way, BT. Hope you are well. None of our teammates are special attackers. Actually, the that's not true. The Arcanine is not. Okay. So let's see. Okay. I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. That makes sense. Okay, so yeah, we'll put that up. No, he just goes straight for nullifying my stats. Kind of annoying. So we're, we're not going to take it out in time at this point. Like, we're going to literally lose, run out of time.
Yeah, G GG's, like... <laughs> Literally didn't even do damage, like... Holy crap. Said, what is damage? That's ridiculous. I mean, to be, to be fair, like, it is like I have a low-level Gudra, but... Holy crap. That was just dumb. Boy, do I look forward to doing this again. God. Ah. A waste of time. Like, because I didn't want to do it by myself again. Um, yeah. Yeah, I mean... I feel like the title of the video kind of presumes that I plan on doing the global challenge, but um, yeah, like the point of today's video was to test teams for the global challenge, and now that I have finished doing that, uh, I mean, I quote unquote finished doing that. I played three matches and I was like, that's fine. like. <laughs> right. Um. All right. That's yeah. Just move. Like basically, just move. Like there you go. Freaking whole waste of a minute of my life that I'll never get back. You have to sit there and like read the text like it's the worst like like and now it's doing this and now it's doing this and now it's your turn like <laughs> just like you have to like wait for it to do things for like an entire minute and a half basically like Yeah, I need I need to remake it a Steel Terra if that's the case. Whole bunch of dummies, my guy. Can't trust nobody. Let's let these people lead the way, I guess. Teach me your ways. For I am a lowly peasant who doesn't know what I'm doing. Right? 
<laughs> nice. Have a blizzard. It's like so much time that we have to just watch this, like. It does nothing. I guess I got a little greedy there. Okay, hold on. These guys are like, they're like, we got this, we got this. <laughs> I'm just gonna click belly drum. Uh. They're like, we got this dog. Don't even trip. Don't you love when they literally don't even do damage? Like, isn't that fun? Because it totally just didn't even register that they did damage. Okay, so... It's sketchy. They're trying their best, which I respect. We're probably gonna lose. Mostly because, like, I don't have a Terra, I guess, like... Yeah, pretty unfortunate. Um, I think the fellow Gudra is going to help a lot, but I don't know if we can pull this off. We'll see. I mean, we have time technically, but...
Yeah, we should be able to do this. I mean, it really just comes down to how quickly this uh, fellow Gudra clicks buttons. Right, so... Yeah, GG. Jesus, like... Why did they, why did they make it like that? Like, <laughs> and now we're just stuck. That was ridiculous. What do you catch a bug in in a, in a net? <laughs> yeah, that's fine. All right, well, let's see what we get, I guess. Sour herb, salty herb, all right, all right, hold on. Bill, ooh, and an ability patch. All right, that's big. That is big. All right, well, fine. I guess I'll have to get my Gudra ready. What up, Venu? What up, Carlos? Um, yeah, I'm kind of... I don't know, I just... Wanted, I basically wanted to just film a match for tomorrow more than anything. Um, so I did. <laughs> we, we successfully filmed for tomorrow and we are uh, kind of just chilling now. So um, if you do want to watch what we did earlier, we got a very good set of matches in. Um, we were able to, you know, see some good success with my new choice band Landris team. But yeah, so I mean, it's, I mean, even though we're doing a live stream, you can always just like, if you do want to, you know, you can go back and watch it right now. So, um, let's just do this really quick. And then we're going to call it for the night. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I'll just show you, Carlos, if you don't, if you want me to. Um, this is the team that I'm thinking about using for the GC. So it's a kind of like silly looking team. Um, it actually works pretty well, if you ask me. Like, I've been testing it all day, and I've been climbing the la the ranks with it, so... It feels solid for as awkward as it looks. And you just kind of have to pay close attention to, like, when is the right time to lock into what move, right? Um, technically, you don't always need Sunny Day, so you could replace Sunny Day. But it's been nice versus like rain, nine tails, you know, things like that, which, you know, nine tails is a kind of a problem for this team if you don't have that. So it's nice. Um, but yeah, I don't know what else I want to say about it. Flying Terra Flutter me.
<laughs> um, I hope you guys enjoyed. It was a good set of matches, and um, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Life Orb Dragonite works, man. The Life Orb Dragonite definitely works. Like, like, because if you go back and you watch that second match, dude, like, I literally reverse swept the crap out of this man's by taking three KOs in like three turns with Outrage and then having, and then I had Ice Spinner. Like, <laughs> I was like, I was like, all right, all right, hold on. Like, <laughs> So, it's, uh, I actually really like the Life Orb Dragonite. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, thanks, man. Yep. Have